some news. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. Today's date, September 9th, 2022. 11 days to my birthday. I forgot how old I'm going to be, though. I have to do the math. But it's probably pretty old. So don't worry about that. All right? So how are you guys doing today? My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. That's chat over there. Usually they're over here. Hold on. That's chat. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We're off to a great start. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Old enough to be clinically dead in some cases. Sure. In some eras. Um, so how's everybody doing today? We got some news. We got some news. Got a lot of small stories. Nothing like crazy big. Nothing like crazy big. There's some, there's some, there's some drama though going on though. We got to get in here and touch base on some of this stuff. Sorry, you got to fuck in the first 10 seconds. Are you not supposed to do that? I'll bleep it out. Don't worry about it. Fuck. Is there rules against that? I know you're not supposed to curse within the first minute or something. Man, no one gives a fuck. No one makes money on YouTube anyway. Wow. Wow. I don't care. Shit. Anyways, first up. <laughs> yesterday, if you were here yesterday during the second stream that I did, uh, you probably remember that we had an issue with uh, that popped up with Patreon. Now, um, a lot of people, you know, use Patreon, a lot of people, it's just a place where we could actually make real money doing the things that we like to do. Uh, and <clears throat> there was a, uh, there was a, uh, not a rumor, but there was, there was an instance that popped up that kind of, uh, made Patreon look pretty bad and could have had some pretty damning results because of this rumor that started spreading. They better not ban titties again. Nah, just the one time. It's the one time and only forward facing where we went. Remember, we like risk, we took a couple risks and went to a couple of like not safe for work Patreons and they don't show anything on the front because they're not supposed to. Thankfully, they didn't. But this tweet came up. Somebody says, whoa, Patreon laid off their entire security team. Wouldn't trust my data there. Also, there's some amazing talent to scoop up. And so that's a pretty, pretty strong statement to make against a company that is as big as Patreon, which is pretty, pretty big, it's making a good amount of money, right? So <clears throat> the source on this was a feed, was a post from uh, LinkedIn from an Emily Metcalf. And Emily posts, so for better or worse, I and the rest of the Patreon security team are no longer with the company. Uh, as a result, I'm looking for a new security or privacy position. Uh, opportunities work for blah, 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 blah. So she's basically looking for some kind of help. Now, I haven't seen her post anything in response to this. Uh, this post caused like a firestorm on Twitter. Uh, tons and tons of people who are, if you look at this, look at this. Uh, uh, this is all the quote retweets. Um, it's just like, what the heck? If you have Patreon, you might want to change it to a stronger password to set up this. Da, da, da. Well, this is concerning. Uh, let's see. Uh, this feels insufficiently considered. Insufficient. Like everybody, everybody all of a sudden knows exactly what's happening with the inner workings of Patreon. And so yesterday we went and we dug pretty deep. We were trying to find more information. Like, okay. So like, is this all we have? Is this one person's account on this? Right? It's like, maybe we should make a big, big deal out of it yet until we really know what's going on. It just says, I and the rest of my team. Doesn't necessarily say that there was a transition team in place. Doesn't necessarily say shit. Doesn't say shit. Right? So... I reached out to uh, to one of the people who were uh, was um, uh, who was laid off, uh, and I'm I was going to leave him anonymous for now. But I did get a response. Uh, thank you, by the way, to uh, Jordan, to uh, Inferno, to to Lack, everybody that helped me uh, dig up some of this information while we were like obsessing over it yesterday, and I guess top two. Um, <clears throat> so this is this this response from people, even people as big as. Like Snubs, <laughs> who deleted the tweet? So Snubs, so as you can see, you can kind of see where this is going, right? So Snubs uh, posted a response to it. Uh, she's got, uh, 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 she's pretty well known in her space, um, and she ended up deleting the tweet. Why? Because it ended up being kind of a nothing burger, kind of a nothing burger. But let me get to that quote though. That quote that I got from. Uh, from an ex-employee says, uh, says, hey, sir, I appreciate the support. I wish I could give you more in some information on it. Uh, the question I asked was like, you know, what happened? Is there a transition team or something like that? Uh, and it says, but the language in my termination paperwork is very ambiguous and slightly threatening. So until my lawyer looks through it, I really don't know what I can say at this point. So this, this to me, so I responded to this person just letting them know it's like, okay, it's probably something that 
is like you know fairly standard where like a company likes to use strong aggressive wording that basically just means like yeah don't share company secrets when you go somewhere else right um which is this is kind of practice for like a lot of companies but when they get a little too aggressive with their wording then they could get slapped back by lawyers so they have to be careful with that kind of stuff and this has happened before so that's kind of what it sounds like to me but you know this person's taking it as you know it's very ambiguous and slightly threatening uh i don't know if this is like if this is a result of maybe they uh they don't appreciate being laid off and so they're gonna they're gonna take offense to anything that Patreon does, which I totally get. Which I totally get. Um, so this is seemingly Patreon's track record for doing this. Uh, <clears throat> let me go and get another uh, pop up here. Let me see. Uh, this is the confirmation that that uh, came back from their. Uh, I heard this actually came from a Discord, and I have another link actually. It just kind of uh, corresponds with it. Um, but uh, this is from Patreon. It says, as a global platform, we will always prioritize the security of our creators and customers' data. As part of the strategic shift of a portion of our security program, we have parted ways with five employees. Was well, five employees. Uh, we also partner with a number of external organizations to continuously develop our security capabilities and conduct regular security assessments to ensure we meet and exceed the highest industry standards. The changes made this week will have no impact on our ability to continue providing a secure and safe platform for our creators, for our creators and our patrons. So, <clears throat> So like I said, this 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 tweet, this one message on LinkedIn ended up causing a firestorm with lots of people basically resharing and saying, hey, you might want to find another platform or hey, you got to be careful with your stuff on Patreon now. When in reality, it probably amounted to nothing because they were, they are, as as they've put, that they are shifting their their resources around or maybe getting external help or whatever. Uh, they got, yeah, they got rid of the internal security team. Um, but like the, the news had kind of, and this is actually kind of funny here. This, the news hit BBC World News Today. What says Patreon has laid off five employees on a security team saying the move is part of a strategic shift. And then we go through this list here and it says Patreon's laid off employees and subscription platforms are popular among podcasters, which we know. Da, 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 da. So yeah, outsourcing security to drive costs down, but who knows? They'll never disclose it. Yeah, that's more than likely what it is. Anyways, so I I, I found a ton of sites covering this news um, that ended up kind of being like non-news. And so what I noticed is this site here, this is bbcworldnewstoday.com, does not belong to BBC trademark site. This is just like a random site that just publishes news under the BBC World name. And even their about page sounds pretty amateur. I'll just read some of it to you here. It says, uh, here we'll provide you only interesting content, which you will like very much. We're dedicating to we're dedicated to providing you the best of news with a focus on dependability and public. We're working to turn our passion for news into a booming online website. We hope you enjoy our news as much as we enjoy offering them to you. Have a nice day. Thanks for visiting our site. So this is the BBC World News Today site. That's probably not going to exist in, a, in, in who knows how long uh, because of how close this is to. <laughs> I should see CNN news yesterday. Yeah. Generic quote made by a U-turn on a YouTuber. Uh, external auditors aren't going to help uh, your continuous security, though. Yeah, so so there's some comments here. Like, there's I have this comment mark. Yeah, here we go. Uh, let me see. No, this is this is more from the uh, um, uh, from the quote from the Patreon. So 7:29 p.m. yesterday. Um, oh, I forgot you can't do that. Uh, but somebody else on here did mention that um, a, a lot. A lot. Let me see. Uh, let's see intrusion. Yeah, here it is. So. This guy says, says, I mean, it sounds bad, but in a lot of those small companies, the security team is actually dead weight slash just for show. A bunch of guys running around, running automated scans with Rapid7 slash CrowdStrike, looking at pretty dashboard graphs and sending managers scary intrusion alert email because someone tried SSH on 22 but failed. Obviously, we don't know if that's the case here, but I wish more companies figured out their security team is security theater. So, like, this is a pretty controversial statement to make, right? backed up by you know by the statements that he makes that probably some of you understand <laughs> i don't know what rapid seven or crowd strike is but the rest of it sounds pretty convincing you know uh there's also rumors that that there's going to be an announcement of a leak or something that occurred on on patreon but like none of this stuff would have happened if the if the original post was just slightly less ambiguous just slightly less ambiguous or it's not even this person's fault Right. Or if people didn't take that as, whoa, Patreon lay off their entire team. Whoa. Come on, man. Like, I wouldn't trust my data there. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it became a huge thing. So here it is. The tech crunch. Patreon confirmed security team layoffs. Oh, no. I shouldn't put my credit card number in there. These motherfuckers, like, I see actual Patreon, pa Patreon creators retweeting that this tweet out. Right. Saying, you know, it's like, whoa, you should be careful with whatever you do on the, on my Patreon or whatever. 
And it's like you're literally sending away, sending away dollars for something you have absolutely no data or proof of. Not that you're just gift, just, just, hey, hey, you know what? I heard this rumor. You should like not give me money just to be safe. Like, and then it turns out to be basic, basically nothing. Sure. Now, some of the comments I've seen was they're saying because they have not disclosed the other team that's taking over uh, or that has taken over uh, that we don't have a way of vetting them. But like, how often do we really go through and vet the external uh, contracted security teams or whatever they are for like these various websites that we use? Probably basically never. But because it's the internet, someone's got to bring it up and then, 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 you know, then it turns into an actual thing. So yeah, this was, this was just nothing but a clusterfuck yesterday. Absolute clusterfuck over something that inevitably turned out to be pretty much nothing. But people have probably ended up canceling their accounts and doing all that shit anyways. Hot take, you need a team uh, protecting developers from themselves sometimes. Yeah, it's your, like your internal, yeah. Heard you send guns 100 bucks, you get a million back, that's right, Brian! Oh man, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, the internet overreacted. I know, I know, I know. This is this could wholly be summarized as the internet overreacted to something. But I want to show, I wanted to show you guys like the reach, and it's still getting quote retweets. Like it really is. Like I mean, it's basically not a thing. But fucking hell, man, people just want to freak out. They want to freak out. They pay for Winrar. Get rid of them. Yeah. Speaking of freaking out, you guys know that uh, uh, that ninja took a break. He took a break. Let me see. I'm gonna pull this up over here. I don't have the original tweet for the la with his last moments on stream, uh, but I don't think it's really needed now because we kind of have an answer to this. So about a week ago, uh, 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 ninja was streaming and he and he let everybody <laughs> cringe. Yeah, <laughs> he 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 basically had a moment uh, where he was uh, like. Uh, <laughs> I can't even like oh man I just can't anymore guys I just can't I just can't that's it that, that, that's it I'm out I'm getting out I'm gonna see you later like it was just not the most convincing exit to a stream I've ever seen but uh uh and then and then he changed his, his name to like user not found or something like that like literally just changed his name to user not found and then like deleted his picture profile picture and he said I just need a break don't know when I'll be back or where <laughs> uh he had a don't become an actor moment yeah exactly <laughs> uh where he was like fuck this shit i'm out i can't compete with 12 year olds listen man if i had been playing fortnite for the last five years as a career i would have flipped shit way sooner midlife crisis early so yeah this is this is this is kind of where everyone was at it was like okay well we know that it's a fake exit right we know that he's gonna come back we know he's gonna come back um but like what does it mean like what does it mean so we know that we knew that his partner tag disappeared from his um uh from from his uh, uh twitch account so he's no longer partnered uh i gotta scroll up because i have some screenshots over here i gotta use for the story i <laughs> stuffed in general in discord excuse me excuse me there we go okay cool so he did end up he wanted a vacation to take a vacation yeah well i mean this is him basically trying to rebrand here and he came back and this is what he said oh this is what he did hi guys what's going on got it baby yeah Ooh. there we go Pro-Am fortnite tournament winners this is the diamond play button congratulations thank you so much 10 million subscribers it's official oh! Oh! we finally got a ninja skin. okay all right fast forward twitter i'm going to be live everywhere twitter instagram tiktok facebook youtube twitch patreon maybe only fans Are the Lions going to win the Super Bowl? Yes. The Lions are going to win the Super Bowl. That's all you need to hear. So he did say that he is going to be streaming everywhere. So he's streaming slut, giving it out for free. That's right. Yes. So today was his first day back, and he did stream everywhere. Almost everywhere. I mean, no, you didn't bring up him. Well, almost everywhere. Uh, actually, just to kind of kind of highlight this a little bit, um, let me see. No, 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 no. If I can find it. Yeah, I thought this was pretty sad. A freak of TV with, you know, small, this is a relatively small Korean uh, a streaming site, popular in Korea. Uh, they're like everywhere, and it's just like probably not there. But no, no, they did not stream on a freak of TV. Uh, but he did stream on basically all these channels here. This is a very clever GIF. Uh, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. He really was streaming on all these platforms at the same time. I have the numbers here. 
Uh, I went and checked just randomly. Obviously, they change, they fluctuate wildly when you're streaming. Uh, and he was streaming on, we'll start at the lowest number, Twitter. On Twitter, at the time that I checked, which was about 30 minutes after, 30, 45 minutes after he started, so pretty good time, uh, he had uh, 800 people watching on Twitter. The numbers go up from here, all right? So don't talk shit yet. Uh, he had, uh, on Facebook, he had 1.1 thousand uh, streamers on there. What up? Uh, on Instagram, he had 1.4 thousand viewers on there. On YouTube, he had 7.7 thousand. And without looking, what do you think? What, what do you think? Who do you think? Who do you think had more numbers? Twitch or TikTok? The multicast is not on Twitch. We'll get there in a second. Uh, Twitch. You think Twitch? Okay, Twitch. Twitch is number one. Twitch is number one. So Twitch had. Uh, is it TikTok? Okay, okay. So Twitch had 13.7 thousand viewers. Obviously, number fluctuates, but consistently during the time that I watched, he maintained over 15 thousand, only briefly dropping below on TikTok. So he actually had more viewers on TikTok. Uh, you cheated though. I know <laughs> you were in there. So I went up and I pulled a screenshot of all of his. Uh, let me get this thing lined up here. Uh, of all of his different streaming uh, setups. So this is his uh, TikTok stream. We watched a couple of streams the other day here on, here on show, um, on stream where we went through a couple of TikTok gaming streams to kind of see the format, what they're doing, all that stuff. We had 15,000 people watching this with this with this this tiny little vertical sliver of a screen here. TikTok's ad revenue pays dog shit. TikTok takes 80%. Yes. Yes, but you can always also just grow your platform and sell merch, right? Just sell merch. It's easy. Just sell merch. Just sell merch. <laughs> don't go to the mon don't get the monetization pad for TikTok. Brilliant FOV. Yeah. So this is his this is his TikTok setup here. Uh, this is kind of out of order here. This is his um, Twitter. This is his Twitter. Oh, it looks like it was 1100. Wait, no, no, this is not Twitter. This is Facebook. This is Facebook. <laughs> uh, let's see. YouTube. He there's. there's oh. YouTube, he had, uh, you know, basically the same kind of setup. So for the most part, he he kept this this style of setup for all of his 16 by 9 feeds. Uh, and we could see that, um, you know, over, let me see. Yeah, over here, this is must be his, this is his Facebook feed, 1.2K. So his Twitter feed was a little bit higher than what I had quoted. Um, but his Instagram feed is what cracked me the fuck up. Because this is what, it, literally what it was. He moved the camera, but it was still like sitting like this behind him looking into the corner uh, and it didn't even have like a mic feed it was just it was just like the camera microphone you know so it was like shit you hear the room and all that stuff uh, <laughs> at least we can see the screen this time <laughs> and so the bro downgrade his room <laughs> so yeah he's he he was he didn't move the camera but it was still like it was just kind of like I have an extra phone this is stream to Instagram kind of thing um for a ninja, he sure pursues to be seen. That's a good one. Uh, most people uh, look at Insta to see the backs of people. Oh, dang. Oh, you guys are full of it today. Woo. Weird, insane shit happens. People will see it live, people will see it live instead of having to wait for news to travel. Um, so, so, so those, this, his, I was listening to his feed for a bit, just to kind of get an idea of what he's talking about and what he's thinking and all that. Uh, and he said that he is, um taking a risk right now he's not partnered with twitch um he's not partnered with anybody he has no contracts or anything now he can absolutely this is not a sign of tyler ninja blevins like fading into obscurity or anything like that like yes he's probably not as powerful and strong as he was you know some years ago but the motherfucker's still pulling in some 38,000, 40,000 viewers across you know five or six different platforms so i'm not gonna say that's falling off you no, 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 no. Okay, cool. Uh, he did talk about streaming OnlyFans as kind of like a joke, but he said, yeah, you know, if he doesn't play his cards right, he might have to do that. So he said he's taking a risk where he's going to have to try to start, you know, basically being free and just doing whatever he wants, streaming whatever he wants, streaming all the platforms, all that stuff. Um, hello. Uh, so he needs, he wants the flexibility of being able to do this. And despite the changes made to Twitch's terms for partners in which, you know, which originally stated that you were not allowed to stream on other platforms, which has been changed. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. Um, you know, he's, he's basically free to just 
stream whenever, wherever. The power of fuck you money. Yeah, basically, pretty much. I wonder how many of these numbers were people were watching on multiple platforms. Could be, could be, but when I was watching his feed on TikTok, that follow feed was fucking blowing up. He has like eight point, he had, well, he had like 8.8 .8 million when I saw uh, earlier. Let me see, TikTok, do I have it still here? No, I don't. Uh, let me see if I can find his, um, it's too let me funny, see, bro. Ninja, Ninja, it's Ninja, shut up. Fucking zoomer. <laughs> uh, let's see. 8.7 million followers. Oh, I swear he had 8.8 .8 million earlier. Did he lose followers somehow? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he does have, uh, he has a pretty active and very, very large uh, TikTok following. So I'm not surprised that he's, um, that he's pushing that platform, which all of us should be doing really, including myself. Uh, and with certain platforms where you have exclusivity contracts, do you think this would be something that can uh, have sort of a ripple effect? If he, if Ninja is, um, successful in basically continuing to grow his platform and his brand uh, by streaming literally anywhere, then he will, he will uh, in a sense be uh, one of the first people to show that you can just do it without, without being exclusive, exclusive to any certain platform. And with the, uh, with the, how lucrative it is for people to start streaming on like say TikTok or cross streaming in general. Um, this could be just another way of kicking people into motion, right? And get them out there and get them start, uh, get them to start cross uh, streaming and everything, cross platform streaming or multi-platform streaming, whatever. Um, bot followers and viewers are pretty bad on TikTok. They have no tech against it currently. I can tell by the faces of the video number five and six that his main demographic is 12 years old. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, you could do this if you have a name brand. If you don't do it, if you don't, it means nothing. Um, yeah, well, I mean, if, if, if he's, he's making plenty of money off platforms. So like if he's got money coming in through sponsorship deals and all that stuff, and that's the point, right? If you have sponsorship deals and all that, like you probably don't need to have a Twitch partnership. Like if you're securing your own partner deals and a lot of, a lot of streamers, they, they, they do their own sponsorship deals. Uh, they don't have like a representative at uh, at Twitch that's handling it for them. Some of them do, sure, but a lot of them end up handling it themselves. So why do they need Twitch anymore? It's just a platform that pushes the video out for them. That's pretty much it. Uh, yes, how are your fucking dogs? How are your how are your dogs, guys? <laughs> Would it be a nightmare if you care about chat interaction. So he was interacting a lot with chat, and he even commented on that. He said that there was another app that would. Uh, allow him to uh, uh, to combine all the different chat feeds. Uh, he might have been talking about like Chat Arena or something like that, but he didn't really say the name. Um, and he said that he's tried doing that, and it's completely unreadable, complete chaos, completely unreadable. Um, so you know, you know, whether it works or not, you know. But he he was being uh, generally interactive. Now, uh, when you get to the point where your chat is just blowing by, like, like you can't read everything. So your interaction is going to go to shit, you know, for the most part. Um, Restream does multi-chat stuff. Yeah. yeah, he made it sound like he didn't set up the reach, the, the, the multi-chat shit. Hey, 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 Ty, boy, I'm reading that shit. I try to read here. <laughs> your hair is on a crazy color. I know. I know that's the problem. That's 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 really the problem. So so that leads us into yes, they did change their policy. Twitch did change their policy on uh, on being able to stream to multiple platforms here. Um, and there's there's some caveats where like you can't stream to uh, I think YouTube within 24 hours of your previous stream or something on Twitch, uh, but you can't stream to TikTok. They will let you multi-stream to TikTok if you're a partner uh, and probably even an affiliate. I'm not quite sure. Uh, but this is, I mean, this is pretty good news. You know, like if you could come up with a separate feed that you can restream specifically formatted for TikTok, then you could use that as a way to, to drive more traffic to your Twitch channel, or you could use your Twitch channel, drive more traffic to your TikTok. Uh, there's a streamer named BB Jess. Uh, BB Jess, she's a little Zoomer, like uh, like a new new zoomer zoomer twitch streamer that like streams on everything she streams on uh, on uh, on uh tiktok and then she'll like bring all them bring all the people over to twitch she'll be like all right guys let's switch over to twitch she'll bring them all over and shit like she's got the shit down and that's what a lot of people are trying to do and see uh you know see if they can't kind of cross pollinate a little bit with their brand and all that which is like i said it's pretty smart pretty fucking smart um mike shinoda his stream chat goes way fast oh yeah sure does he stream on tiktok also i mean i can now no problem. I think uh, I think probably one of the reasons why Twitch decided to make this change is because people are like legit considering abandoning uh, 
uh, Twitch for TikTok because of the exposure. I mean, you know, like people stream on, on TikTok, they just get more viewers somehow. Uh, so whether they're botted viewers or what, like it's still the number and the, and the chat and all that stuff. Like that's still pretty enticing for people. Um, my test out, see how it goes. Yeah. Test it, test it out. See if it works. Uh, but yeah, there, I mean, you can't, you could just have another phone set up. That's what he did. you know, and once I get, once I'm going to do the same thing with this, just have his phone sitting right here underneath this guy, streaming to both TikTok and and the thing at the same time. Hell yeah. Probs, he's still peddling at the NFTs. Is he really? Mike Shinoda still fucking doing NFT shit, man, please, please, please. He did put a lot of work into the NFT stuff, though. Like, that's a lot of work to just abandon. So uh, imagine a world where people aren't dependent on a single platform. They might actually have to try to compete. Yes. Yeah. No, it's true, though. Like, so I was talking to my friend last night, uh, and he's got a kid. And um, this kid's, like, probably, like, 12 or something like that. So about at the age where they need to decide whether or not they want to be a streamer or not for the rest of their life. And uh, he said that... Um, Kind of, he's, he's thinking of kind of nudging her towards that direction just to give her something, a, what kind of a creative outlet to be able to do stuff, um, you know, online and all that. And 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 he says that the impression he gets, which is the same impression that I get with some like some like Zoomer cousins, uh, that they view Twitch as kind of like the professional, like you're gonna try to do this for reals, uh, uh, platform, and they view TikTok as like just a very casual, like ah, I'm just gonna go live, I'm just gonna go live and bullshit, I'm just gonna go live and bullshit. Whereas here, and it's true for a lot of us, like we treat this as like, well, I'm not gonna go live if I don't have a show, right? Like if I don't have anything, I'm not gonna go live if I don't have nothing to do, you know? So, so there is an element to that, right? There is that 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 view that people have where they think that you know Twitch is the platform for the professionals to go and do their thing. Um, uh, Sam, he's a pretty useful one. He signed him. <laughs> so Mike's moving to TikTok. I'm not moving anywhere. I, I am on TikTok, by the way. I do. I very rarely post videos. Very rarely. But the videos I post, I feel like are pretty good. Pretty fun. Um, you got to break, do- break down and stream to TikTok. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just saying, like, the option's there. And if the option's there, that might be a good idea to try to establish yourself on another platform if you can. Uh, people push their, uh, their children to stream, like, intentionally expose them to chat. I mean, there's, there's, there's some things that you could do to try to help mitigate some of that. You know, you could try to set up filters for them, like, um, you know, basically to, to like you know, capture or like remove certain things in chat or whatever, but you know, they, they're still going to see it by the time. Some of these kids are 13. They're pretty mature. Like they know, they know what things that adults don't think kids should know. Like they typically know. And so, uh, introducing them to the internet is probably not the best thing, but you know, if it's something that they're just inherently comfortable with because they go live all the time on TikTok, then like, why not? Um, they seen the boobs. They seen the boobs. They did. They seen the boobs. Uh, very desensitized. Oh yeah. My former, former employee wanted me to use TikTok and I straight up told him I will never install that bullshit on my phone. And then he's going to fire you and hire a fucking 18 year old. Careful. Careful, Clayton. <laughs> If a kid wants to stream, they'll do it better to get involved. That's it right there. If a kid wants to do something, yeah. Telling them no just makes them want to do it more. Unless you have like a really good reason, you know, like you're going to die if you do that. Like it's sometimes the kid's like, oh, well, I guess, you know. <laughs> so uh, for, further with uh, uh, with Twitch, further on with Twitch, uh, they have some other changes. This is a relatively minor change. We talked about this earlier in the week. Uh, we're just going to briefly go over this, but uh, they are they are deprecating uh, uh, host mode in its current state, and they're going to be replacing it with kind of a carousel that's going to allow people to um, uh, to show uh, their favorite suggested uh, uh, um, uh, channels. Now, we, we kind of covered this a little bit earlier in the week, just kind of like, you know, it was capital on Monday. We weren't sure if it was be worth mentioning on news, but I figured, you know, it did happen this week. We'll probably talk about it a little bit, but they are uh, going to be deprecating that. So like the auto, the auto host thing that we have set up, like a whole bunch of channels, your favorite, your friends and all that stuff. So when you get offline and it'll like redirect and all that stuff, they are going to be changing all that stuff around. So uh, in lieu of this uh, new like carousel, they're going to release and that's going to happen on October 3rd. So we'll probably see. If it's, I mean, the the images that we saw, which I think are in this uh, in this here, um, like it seemed pretty good. Kind of like a kind of like a setup that just shows like a bunch of channels, and everything that you would you would you know 
populate with like your favorite friends, your friends and your favorite channels and all that. Um, but uh, but yeah, people people mad. I mean, it's a change, so people gonna be mad. Uh, they say, "Yo, Twitch, what are you even doing?" It was in your own words. Uh, hosting help people grow. We as streamers encourage viewers to host because it helps boost your visibility on discovery pages. You're moving a tool because you say it isn't helping growth now. So. Yeah, I get what this person's saying. It's like being able to host people, whether automatically or manually, whatever, just having that full suite of tools of being able to host people on your channel really helps. Well, I feel like it helps. I've been doing it with like some of you guys. Just I feel like at least as like two or three people or something who like hang out in my channel when I'm not streaming. But maybe that's just bad like experience for those users. Maybe the viewers are the ones that have problems with this where they're like, I'm tired of being redirected to this channel I don't give a fuck about. I just want Mike B. And that's it. That's all I need is Mike B. That's all I need. Say it with me. That's all I need is my B. You got it? All right, good. Say it's easy for Twitch to let people stream on TikTok while the payout is so low. When the payout on TikTok starts to match Twitch. As you compete as the main platform for streaming, they will most likely move TikTok over to the same group as YouTube. It'll be really hard to put those worms back in the can. It would be really, 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 really difficult. To put those ones back in um that would be like if that happened like yes blem from like a capitalist <laughs> perspective from like an executive perspective yes that would be a change you would probably have to do but that would make them look like huge dicks all i need is my Rizali. yeah <laughs> yeah streamer get to work hordes thank you yeah yeah a comic oh no fuck you hordes um is this brainwashing? <laughs> it's so easy. Uh, also, I have to consider a lot of users these days use extensions that remove hosting since it can be annoying. Yeah, so there are a number of tools already in place for people who use hosting. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, for uh, people who do not use hosting or auto hosting, like the um, uh, the channel trailer, which like if you use, I don't, I don't have a channel trailer because I'm always hosting. I feel like I'm always hosting. Uh, so I don't have a channel trailer, but now that this tool might be going away, it's like, okay, great. Now I have to make a tra channel trailer, which I think is kind of their point. Like if you go to YouTube and you go to like a, a page, uh, if you're a subscriber, then you see like the regular feed and all that stuff. But if you are not a subscriber to that person's YouTube channel, then you will see a modified version of the page that shows uh, like a trailer and other things that that person want to introduce to you. Like, for example, for me on my non uh, subscriber page, I probably include some like uh, some iconic videos like the Nerf bikes video and maybe like a, a trials, you know, a Tets video um, and, you know, a couple other things kind of like in a collection of things that's like, oh, yeah, these are the things I'm known for. And then like here's a trailer and all that stuff. And that I think is what they're trying to do here is they're trying to make it so that they make your page a destination, whether somebody is a viewer, a, a regular viewer or a new viewer that was brought over from like, let's say TikTok. So if you promote yourself on TikTok with this other recent change that they made, right? And so it's like, okay, cool. You could stream on TikTok now and bring some of those viewers over. Well, they don't want those viewers to come over and then get redirected somewhere else. And, Twi and Twitch is assuming that these people are stupid and they're not gonna be able to figure out they got redirected. And so they're just gonna remove the, remove the tool altogether. Which is, I mean, that, that's, that's kind of what they said in some words, right? Mm. Uh, I think I like day nine's view on it. hosting shouldn't be there, but there should be a way to have a community channel set up for things like someone hosting different events, PC gaming show or LCS or whatever. Yeah. Um, my Tommy had a fan. Oh, thank you. Rizali. <laughs> uh, so, I, so tonight is, so I have videos to play without falling asleep. I can't really do that on Mike's channel anymore because it may be end up hosting top, which can wake me. Oh, damn it. Every time. Well, uh, with the hosting tool going away, they're, it's going to encourage us to raid a lot more. They want us to raid more, which is fine. I think raiding is a much more, much better system anyways than hosting. But it's uh, to me, it'd be nice if they both could coexist in some form. But I understand if they're trying to make your page a destination and they're trying to clean it up a little bit so that you don't go to somebody's page and just get redirected to some random, <laughs> random person. But uh, but yeah, it's a change and uh, and some people are going to be mad. October 3rd, we're going to find out and see exactly what the new system looks like. In my opinion, hosting is a false stat boost. It's nice, but stats don't transfer from hosts. Yeah, the viewer numbers will transfer. So all of a sudden you get like a whole bunch of viewer numbers and everything. But yeah, it's all got nothing against it. It's very much a me problem. Oh, for the, uh, yeah. Aw. We'll just, don't worry. We'll just stop. We'll just stop hosting top. No problem. Problem solved. Easy. <laughs> And October 3rd, we'll start the clock and see how long, uh, how, how long and this new system works. What the? Pfft. Hey, man, customer complaint, man. We got it. Come on. Customer's always right. Customer's always right. <laughs> 
Alright. <laughs> Speaking of getting fucked. <laughs> Uh, all right, so, uh, so <laughs> some time ago, uh, uh, probably a couple weeks ago, there was a streamer who, uh, who allegedly had intercourse on stream. Uh, now, I don't know if it really happened because I didn't see, I didn't see the PP going in the butthole. I didn't see any of that. Okay. All I saw was through 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 a very reflective surface, also known as a window, I was able to see that there was something going on, some shenanigans going on with the lower half of this young lady's body. We couldn't quite make out what it was. I saw the old face. That is not allegedly. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> We all know. <laughs> anyway, so uh, this streamer, uh, her name is uh, uh, Kamika. Uh, Kamika uh, was banned. Of course, she was banned, right? I mean, she was banned because she was she was having some form of ecstasy uh, on stream, and she seemed she kind of looked pretty guilty about it, right? Kind of looked pretty guilty about it. So she still, she knew she was streaming. That was the other thing too. She knew she was streaming, right? This isn't like butthole girl from like a while back, right? Where she did, she knew she was recording something, but she didn't know she was still streaming. Remember the one put the butthole in the camera and all that stuff. And what did she get? Like a seven day ban or something like that? Somewhere around there. Anyways, it's pretty much the same case here. So if you haven't seen this video, maybe you recognize that face. Um, she is, uh, she's already unbanned. She's already streaming, uh, again, uh, obviously there has been, there have been some, uh, uh, some folks who are a little upset about this because it's like you were literally having some kind of, uh, sexual thing going on there on stream. Um, uh, maybe that's something that we should ban permanently for. I don't know. Uh, like I said, vacation. Yeah. Why am I going to get a new category stream in? Yeah. Yeah. So she probably got a big, a big boost in viewership. So I wonder how our first stream back was usually the big numbers. So I got those numbers for you guys. So there was, there was one instance where she went and she streamed. I think she streamed, uh, before her ban was lifted or maybe she streamed when it was lifted. But anyways, there's two accounts associ uh, associated here. One account, uh, in which she did stream on once. Uh, let me see if I have these, uh, da, 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 da. yeah, is it this one? Yeah. This account has been closed, Kamika. I believe this is the original account that was actually banned. Uh, this was closed by the user, so it was unbanned. But she did stream to it before she, right? Says so the, the user that she before she closed it down. So I pulled up those numbers, I think, to Sully Gnome, and Sully Gnome says that when she streamed on, uh, let me see, fifth, six, six, she had 140 viewers. So this this six, I think this Tuesday six is before her ban was up, which might be why she closed her account. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if that's the case, but, um, but she did stream for, for, you know, four hours. She had 170, she, sorry, 140 peak viewers, uh, and 175, uh, net positive followers. Uh, you could see that her overall followers gain on this account was plus three hundred three thousand two hundred forty seven. So that's a good number of followers. Uh, but that's, that account's closed. So it kind of just, just doesn't exist anymore. So this other account that she streams on that she did stream on recently Friday. So, uh, so yesterday and today, um, this one, she had a peak viewership of 71 and then 119 now this is somebody who had peak viewership numbers of and i wonder if i could pull that up here we'll do uh 14 days uh oh is that gonna have that here no okay hmm oops let me see 30 days uh here we go okay so this is this is the uh the, the older account so she must have had this as a backup account she streamed on it too early and she uh and she closed it or something like that. Uh, so yeah, this one, you can see that she had average viewership 20, 13, 31, 78. It's kind of all over the place, like really, really, really all over the place. Um, but I mean, overall, not really too much of a, of a boost in viewership, um, like period, really. Uh, it's just, it's kind of remained basically the same. Uh, and I mean, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alice, I was waiting for the good clips. I bet she's getting other patrols. These are kind of yeah. These are the kind of followers you want to get. Yeah, you know, Lou's got a really good point. Like, you know, these types of viewers that you get whenever you whenever you are somebody who is uh, um, you're very sex positive. I guess we'll call it. <laughs> 
sex demonstrative. I don't know. Uh, whenever you have somebody like this that's that immediately gains like a ton of followers or something, it's not really the kind of crowd that you necessarily want. You know, it's not really like it's 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 something you got to get used to, I guess. You know, people just like fucking thirsting over you constantly, I guess. Horny jail viewers. It's right. Exactly. So did she get a huge boost? Mm, I mean, like, eh, like she's got I mean, she did get twelve hundred and fifty one uh, um, viewers. Let me see over the past seven days. Uh, one hundred forty eight. viewers. So, no, she didn't really gain that much. Like she didn't really gain like a ton. Uh. I got fucked and all I got was a few followers. Oh man, I wish I could use that for my fucking title. Jesus. Uh, but yeah, so seven days. Seven days. That's the magic number. Just fucking, I don't understand. I don't, it's like if you if you if you are doing what what is what she allegedly did uh then like you should be like fucking banned right like that should be a permit ban and what what where do we draw the line where do we draw the line like there was the one instance like i said like straight up like spread cheek everything like like everything <laughs> like i can't remember the name of the streamer that did that but it was but it was still it was a huge deal and that person was it, was only gone for like a short period of time and then came back. Uh, where's the context and intent? Oh, where's that button? Oh, when we're applying the community See? guidelines, we very specifically take context and intent into account. No! That's why it's still on the fucking board because no, that's not true. I guess unless you're saying that sex is okay. It's okay. He doesn't really have anything to do with the company anymore. He's just kind of just there as a face. Um, <laughs> allegedly, all right? It's going off of what he says on Twitter. Uh... <laughs> Misbehaving was her name. Oh, was it? Oh, fuck me. Of course it was. Of course that was the name. <laughs> uh, called is she was doing stuff for OnlyFans. I forgot she was still live on Twitch, and someone texted her. Yep. Was it? Was it? Yeah. But what about the males who stream topless and squeeze their moves when people give them bits? They don't get in trouble. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? There's a couple. There's a couple of uh, uh, of streamers that um, they do. They do. Yeah. Do they? <sighs> okay. Goddamn. Oh man. Okay, so so yes, I agree that women should be able to show their boobies on Twitch. I agree. I agree. Uh but also I don't agree. I don't agree that anything remotely in this category in these categories should be streamed on Twitch because kids go go to Twitch. Kids go to Twitch. Like Declan is only like a, a short while away from like cruising Twitch in his free time, right? I don't need I don't he doesn't need to see <laughs> Pay money wubby squeezing his tits together. <laughs> like maybe just no, maybe just don't do that at all. I don't know. Um so there's research done that boobs are positive. Yes, they asked me. <laughs> so I love I love pay money wubby too. No, no, no. He's just the best example because I think he's actually done that, right? And he'd be more than happy to do it again. <laughs> That's like any of the girls gone wild commercials in the middle of uh, a night uh, on TV. That's right. Mm. Hot tub category is nothing but stolen content now. Is it really? Everyone's got the same. What, they all got the same uh, hot tub or what? We are boob positive. That's right. Boob and moobs. We got them. We're oob. We're oob people. <laughs> Maybe twatch. There you go. Yeah. Booba TV. What's Booba TV got right now? Let me see. Booba. Booba TV. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, lots of slurping. Yeah, lots of slurping. Is there no... Uh, uh, no? Okay, well, you know, figure we just check. Yeah. It doesn't hurt just check real quick. All stolen VODs, YouTube videos, and a person... Yeah, there's a couple of channels that only have... That basically only play VODs. Um, and it's just like... Because I remember we were checking on them once. I think we were in Discord or something like that after stream. And um, there was one channel that was like... And she was just licking, licking, and licking, and licking. And then, like, you come back later, and she was still licking... And it was just like, dude, like, like how this is this? You got to be tired of this. This is a lot of licking, man. Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, it turns out it was just, she just plays VODs all the time. And like people are going nuts in her chat. And I'm like, wow, man, come on, dudes. <laughs> Y'all making us look bad. 40 uh, hour lick marathon. Uh, Hoogers work holidays soon. <laughs> Check the sub goal. God, that's the only thing that's that's not vaunted. It's all real time. Ah, oh, man. I don't have a transition for this. <laughs> I was gonna say speaking of moves, but now it doesn't really work. No, okay. Uh, so 
speaking of a bunch of boobs, Blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard has confirmed this was a rumor earlier this week where Blizzard uh, was accused by somebody on the Resetera forums that um, they were going to be uh, uh, putting some new heroes behind a paywall, um, which is their battle pass. Now, their battle pass costs like a uh, thousand uh, uh, Overwatch 2 virtual currency. Or something like that. And when you buy the... It's a free-to-play game, by the way. Uh, when you buy the box product, right? The box that gives you, like, a bunch of skins or whatever. And then you get a bunch of points. You get enough points to pay for your first two battle passes. If you don't spend that money on anything else, right? Uh, it's probably, like, 15 bucks for a pass. Yeah, I saw, like, anywhere between 5 and, like, 15 bucks or something. Um, uh, so, basically, one WoW token. Yeah, I mean, like, for some of you guys, if that if that is uh, something that carries over, which I don't know if that works, but... I pay to win for my Blizzard games? Never! Oh, man! So, so there was a leak. There was a leak that showed a new character. Uh, and um, I can't I can't show you... I can't show you... Well, I can, can I show you this? Let me see. This doesn't seem right. Let me see. Yeah, here it is right here. <laughs> so there was a new character in Overwatch, and this is where this information came from, right? It was a it was a trailer, the unfinished trailer that had branding and everything over it, like do not share Blizzard property, all that stuff. And motherfuckers were taking screenshots and posting them everywhere because they were like, oh, it's just screenshots, so I'll probably be okay. But no, this is not the images they posted. This is actual like removed. This is what it looks like when Twitter removes an image of yours. And these things can be found everywhere. You could find pictures. Like I have one picture here, but I'm not it's kind of rule 34, so I'm not sure if I'm really allowed to show it, but I'm gonna try it anyways and see maybe we'll delete the bot or something later but but yeah this is what this is what i found if you want an idea this is what this is what she looks like um kind of got a little like hat thing a little she's like a cat or a fox or something like that um and she has a phone i don't know or something like that but <laughs> man <laughs> like, god damn it <laughs> we've done worse in garnet phone don't you fucking dare <laughs> <laughs> P.S. Did you guys know that Overwatch is launching? Overwatch Two is launching in a, like a month. It's like October eighth or something, right? Like it's it's launching in a month. Like, is there hype? Is there hype? Is there maybe I'm just maybe maybe I've just been busy and I've missed out on the hype. Have I missed out? Have I missed out, or is there just not a lot of hype? Maybe they haven't started the hype yet. You have to work the fucking Resident Sleeper the whole thing. <laughs> Nope. Overwatch 1.2. Nope. No hype. Way more hype for classic. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Kidding me? Return of the King. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> I think all the hype is on Wrath right now because that's all I see on Twitter. That and Dragonflight. See, zero about Overwatch 2 in my feed. It's fucking crazy, man. Like, Overwatch was huge when it came out. Huge. And now Overwatch 2 is just like in one month. It's releasing and we're not seeing anything. Maybe this trailer that they're gonna release is gonna like kind of wrap people up and bring them in until they find out that it's behind a that's behind a paywall or something. But they did say uh, uh, somebody did some come back and say someone that worked for for Blizzard. I don't have his name, but uh, uh, did say that the um, the characters will be available for unlock through gameplay in the battle pass. And someone was like, "Well, what if I don't get that character during that battle pass?" Do, do I have an op another opportunity to get them later or something like that? And they said uh, that they th they're they certain that in the future, not not confirmed, but basically, yeah, in the future, we might have those characters come back or something to that effect. So so it seems like it's pretty rocky. Like, you could probably grind it out, but if you miss it, maybe in the future it'll come back, maybe not. Maybe you'll be interested in something else. But one of the biggest problems with, I mean, probably the biggest problem with having a character on the over, on a battle pass, uh, basically putting it behind a paywall, uh, is that uh, Overwatch is a very 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 like counter heavy game because you can tr you can change characters in the middle of uh, in the middle of a match, and so being able to have like counters and everything, someone's rolling this character, okay, boom, let me get a counter out, let me help, let me do whatever I can. Like this this is part of the meta. And so putting characters behind a paywall like this uh, could, especially early on, when somebody gets access to a character that nobody else has and maybe they don't have a strong counter for it because the counter for it is also behind a paywall, then now you have a problem. Uh, the good thing with Overwatch is that all the characters are were available. Yeah, exactly. So you could just hot swap to whatever you wanted. Uh, 
having characters and literal power connected to something that isn't permanent is really bloody shitty. Like if you were on CSGO and couldn't get AWP because you didn't play during one season, it's unthinkable. Yeah, so it's, and this is highly problematic for a game like Overwatch. Uh, unless they decide to remove the ability to swap characters in the middle of the game, but that would kind of like, I mean, that's kind of like part of Overwatch's whole thing, you know? Are they simply going after whales at this point? Why not? Like, why the fuck not? You know, uh, Jeff Kaplan is probably getting drunk, <laughs> getting drunk to ignore this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, fuck. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, it's I mean, it just looks it looks pretty shitty from this perspective. Right. Like, uh, especially again, because Overwatch is a very like, you know, mid match counter heavy meta game. Um, you're kind of taking your not kind of you are uh, uh, really hampering that if somebody gets access to a, a, a hero that whatever this hero that is very hard to counter uh is acquired and the counter is also behind a paywall or something uh but not available to like the next battle pass or something like that like, there's going to be problems and yes they have a balance team that's going to help like balance all this stuff out but come on we know how balancing works we know how balancing works right that's where the flavor that's where the that's where the term the phrase flavor of the month <laughs> build comes from <laughs> A flavor of the month. I mean, I think Blizzard basically invented that uh, by proxy. Hi, guys. Halo Infinite is games as a service, too. It's doing great. Yeah, every new champ and league is fucking OP. Yeah, exactly. The cosmetics were good enough to get the whales. You need to put characters behind the whale wall is a big oof. Big oof. Hunter Puffs, time to re-roll. Uh, I just don't trust Blizzard with any new game. They all sound badly monetized to squeeze you out. Yes, they do seem that way. Uh, and on that note, Diablo Immortal, uh, had a very interesting, uh, uh, incident happen with their economy with certain members, uh, who partake in a certain economy in the game. Um, <laughs> you spend a lot of money on Overwatch on the first job. They hundred percent right. League farm you down with cosmetics, but real money and the characters available just to play earnable all the time. Yeah. Well, now they're going to go for whatever they could do to maximize that cash maximize that cash got to make it look good man when you're merging with that with the uh, with uh uh with microsoft <laughs> took me a second uh this one is juicy so yeah this one is juicy so diablo immortal whales fall into in-game debt after buying third-party orbs restricts them from group content so i'm gonna go ahead and break that down for you guys who don't follow the game so they do have these things called eternal orbs in the game uh and you can purchase them from the in-game shop they are relatively expensive can also acquire them from people who have them that want to just sell them for cheap far cheaper than what you could get from the uh from the shop something like 7200 orbs for ten dollars or something like that uh and I, I think it's it's way more than that that uh when you buy it through the shop so what was happening was some of these whales uh were spending or they call them or fake whales right uh because if they're whales they're real whales they'd buy it from the shop but if these are fake whales, they're buying it from. So how do this third party site sell them? Ah, I'm glad you asked. So a little thing called credit card fraud, <laughs> uh, wire fraud, uh, uh, gift card fraud, just fraud. So what happens is you buy or you acquire a gift card through dubious means. And then you use that to purchase eternal orbs and then you sell it for a fucking steal because the card's gonna get charged back eventually, and then they and then you offload that. You take the money. <laughs> they didn't give me my card money. You bought it from Walmart. Oh, really? Uh, and what happened was Blizzard went through, found all of the, I guess, found a stack of these orbs. I guess they're tagged or something, right? Uh, and they were able to, I guess, basically like remove though that currency from their builds which put them in eternal orb debt some of them in in the way of like six hundred thousand orbs right so yeah this is this is the case of uh these fake whales trying to trying to get by on a system because they don't want to pay the, the full price of the shop, which like I understand, right? But it's the same thing happens you buy like golden wow, man. You, you, your account could get busted for it. So that's what happened here. Now they did not, Blizzard did not ban these accounts. And I think they did it because they know that if they put them in eternal orb debt, and don't delete the accounts. They already know they have money. 
they'll probably pay to get their way out by just buying the appropriate eternal orbs or whatever in order to bring them out of this debt. Uh, I was listening to an interview with somebody who was um, who got busted for this, and they said that they were twenty thousand dollars in uh, in eternal orb debt. So it's twenty thousand dollars that they oh, they made twenty thousand dollars they spent on fake orbs, basically, um, or you know, <laughs> laundered orbs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, that would be a perma account ban in WoW. Yeah, it would be a perma is anywhere else. But I mean, you know, if you're paying spending this much money, if you have a spend that's super high, I guess they could just you know, put your account in the negative and then you have to just like work off that debt to Blizzard. <laughs> There's a brand new sentence right there. <laughs> so, oh man. Uh, so yeah, this this is uh, 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 there's a number of people that were already like infected by this. There was a thread on Reddit. I mean, it wasn't like a huge amount of people, I guess, but you know, people did partake. They would buy these illegal orbs. Uh, I hope these whales aren't dumb enough to buy their way out of this fake debt. Oh no, they will. One of the guy that they that that uh, was interviewed. It was a very tough interview to get through because this person was like half paying attention. It felt like, um, uh, but he did say that if he lost the account, he would just start over. But he'll probably just pay his way out of the debt. So it's like fucking hell, dude. I gotta work in the ore mine. Yeah, I bought gold and vanilla wild back in the day to get my epic mount. I bought gold and wild too, like 2006 or something like that. I bought it from Steve Bannon, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> if you bought, if you bought wild WoW gold between the years of like 2006 or five or so and 2000, like nine or whatever, you probably bought it from Steve Bannon's company. Um, Affinity Media, I think, but it was called something else before that. But yeah, <laughs> look at what you contributed to it. Now I'm sorry. <laughs> It's even worse. It's even worse. Like now, now whenever somebody buys currency from like some shady dealer and game like these eternal orbs, it's like, oh, do you know this person could probably eventually grow up and try to overthrow the government or some shit? <laughs> we didn't know, man. We didn't fucking know. God damn it. Uh, there's a lot of shit that you look back at. You know, you're like, oh man, that's cringe. I can't believe I did that. We're not mad, Mike. We're just disappointed. <laughs> Listen, it was like a thousand gold, okay? Like, I just, it was a lot. I needed some enchants, man. Come on. Shit was expensive. <laughs> I wish Blizz did this to all the wild gold sellers back in the day. Yeah, was Mike involved in shitty game currency exchanges? Hell yeah, I was. Hell yeah. It's this, I, think I'm pa I think I'm past the uh, the statute of limitations on that, though, right? This is like seven years or something like that for, like, gold, gold buying from gold sellers. <laughs> Shit was shady, too, man. It was shady as fuck. Like you, you, you buy the currency and then they just whisper you in game from like some account with like some random characters or whatever. And then some level one comes walking up to you in like Stormwind or Orgrimmar or whatever. And they just like pop open trade and just throw money at you. And you're just like, okay. And then they just, then they just log out. They slash wave and log out. And, and then you just sit there and wait for a GM to show up. Like, just like. You're, you're really scared, man. Like, you're, you're really scared. Like, someone's gonna have... I'm gonna log out real quick. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> have a seat, sir. Yeah, exactly. So... Ah... <laughs> uh, uh, so wait, by not actioning Trump's shenanigans or Blizzard faults? Oh, <laughs> maybe. I bought a 30 year tavern code. A uh, code, a digital code was praying I didn't get scammed. Think I wasn't. Oh, good for you. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, some shady shit, man. Shady shit. <sighs> Moving on. Some news that you guys really care about. Console. Console drama. Console drama. Oh, man. Between the PS... Or the PlayStation and Xbox. So obviously, with this, um, with this merge that's happening, or this acquisition that's happening with uh, uh, Microsoft getting their hands on Activision Blizzard, uh, which is still under, they're still under investigation. There's like some regulators and stuff that want to go in, like the UK has got some regulators working on it too. Uh, we'll know more. Uh, well, yeah, we sure are, we already have some uh, progress on it, but yeah, it's gonna take some time. Um, 
Sony mad that Microsoft is getting all the W's over Sony. No, for real, that's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. So uh, the CEO of PlayStation said that they are uh, they are unsatisfied with the um, <clears throat> with uh, with the deal that was offered from Microsoft, um, and they weren't going to say anything. But I guess because Phil Spencer made it public that they were trying to come up with something that would work for Call of Duty existing on PlayStation in perpetuity right uh they said that they were going to give them an additional three years guarantee beyond the current contract that they could still have the game and then they'll like, talk about it after that right um microsoft doesn't pull the destiny card yet which they will so 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 this turned into a I mean, it turned into a thing it's got sony this is the ceo of sony right like who has all the exclusives right now basically sony final fantasy uh uh spider-man i mean come on dude like they bought the fucking spider-man franchise or whatever and they made it exclusive to their platform for for how long um and so yeah microsoft's trying to play nice if sony wants their cake and eat it too and that's exactly what's happening sony sony's like well no no you can't have exclusivity over this game <laughs> <laughs> After that, they, they, they're sitting there hoarding hoarding their own exclusives uh <clears throat> i do love some of the takes on twitter though this one is like that uses to scare jim ryan which is i i took me a second it didn't register immediately you know <laughs> it didn't register immediately but it's like okay yeah sony is absurdly anti-consumer they can go fuck themselves history is on microsoft's side with minecraft yeah exactly but this is this is indeed a case of just one ceo getting a little bit butt hurt because they don't have all of the all the toys we want all the toys places hoarding exclusive is the only reason why i have a ps5 yeah see uh, that's that's exactly it. Microsoft has a pretty good rep of uh, of having some kind of cross platform support with uh, with their games. Obviously, the first party games you're not going to see Halo on <laughs> on PlayStation, uh, but you do see Halo on on uh, on PC. Yes, it's still Microsoft, but technically still multi platform. Um, <clears throat> look at Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft's probably the absolute best example of that. Yeah, thank you for bringing it up again, Serene, and then uh, Can't Hills. But yeah, Minecraft exists on literally every platform. I, can you name a platform that doesn't? I mean, I think even the Ouya had Minecraft for a minute. Uh, to be honest, I want to see Halo anywhere right now. Dang. Wait, you were just praising Halo Infinite, man. What's going on? Uh, Sony was top for like five years, and then when Game Pass actually got good, it seemed like the tables were quickly being reversed. Yeah. You might see Halo on Nintendo. They want to put uh, uh, Game Pass games on there. Yeah, see? So, so we already know that historically speaking, Microsoft's been pretty good with other platforms. Who's to say that behind closed doors, they're not being dicks to the PlayStation guys? But I mean, PlayStation's kind of like they kind of made their own bed here, right? They were the ones initially, well, this uh, especially recently, uh, getting their hands on all these exclusives here. That was a joke about how bad Halo is. It's only gotten worse. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, <clears throat> yeah, there's just been some back and forth with these guys. Uh, yeah, I think somebody said that their current deal lasts for another few years, and then they were going to give three years on top of that. Um, I think the, the the main complaint that the CEO of uh, um, uh, uh, Ryan that he had uh, about this was he was upset that Phil Spencer's comment said that several years. And he was like, no, actually, it was three, which is technically several. One more than a couple is several or maybe a few i don't know maybe you consider several to be like four or five or something but that seemed to be the that seemed to be the button that was pushed there um hi sunday oh hello you want to come up you want to come on over why don't you come on over here several is like five plus oh okay see so that's where he's that's where he's mad i just want to get grand turismo on pc at some point you're not even gonna get grand turismo on fucking playstation <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Has Grand Turismo come out on PlayStation anytime recently? I feel like I've lost track. All the fucking delays. Breaking news from Kitty Reporter. Woo, 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 woo. What do you want? Boop, 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 boop. I've heard several three to seven. I don't think there's a universal definition. Oh, see? See? Yeah, we don't know for sure. We don't know for sure. What's up? You want to come over? You come over. You want to come over? You come over. Uh, the last Grand Turismo sucked anyways. The last few. Oh, it's okay. I can't really complain. I haven't played since one. It's one, the one, yeah. That's why you lose numbers. Why? Because I don't have a cat. I have a cat on my stream. Oh, yes. Ooh, ooh. Several is technically correct here. Oh, see? One too many. Ah, aha, aha. Yes. I can't. Okay, I can't with you, Sunday. The newest one came out quarter one this year, I think. Apparently, it sucked because, yeah, jeez. Mm. Only dogs matter. No. Mm-mm. 
Mm -mm. That's a lie. All right. Is that Sunday? How is she doing? Now? She's doing good. She's doing good. She's old. She throws up her food every once in a while, hairball stuff or something. But I mean, she's not really complaining. She'll when she's not feeling well. She had she had the sneezes the other day. Just she was like sneezing. She, she couldn't stop, and I felt really bad. But she came up here and she cuddled with me, and I was like, "Oh, you feel bad? Oh, I'm so sorry." And she just kind of fell in my not like this, you know, like I'm trying. Oh, my, oh baby, come here. And she's like, ah, yeah. right. Like she was like cuddling with me, and I was like, "Oh, it's so cute." Um, you said you only if you care about viewers, dogs, not cats. I, my cat, my cat's fine. I don't care about your guys' cats. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> all right, so <clears throat> moving on. We got more. We got more. Uh, there's a couple small stories here, but I still want to mention them. Uh, so Netflix, kind of a big deal. Uh, Netflix reportedly is going to be moving away from the binge model releases. So we're used to Netflix. I mean, they were the pioneer of this, right? Here's all the episodes. You guys figure out when you want to watch it. And that worked really well for a long time. I mean, look at uh, look look at Stranger Things. Look at... Um, um, I mean, Witcher, maybe kind of, but uh, uh, Joe Exotic, just fucking fantastic example. Uh, and so these are shows that hit, they hit the ground all episodes at once. Um, meanwhile, Disney, Disney has been doing the whole weekly thing still. Where they, where they just put out, you know, one episode, next episode, next episode. And what happens there is it creates dialogue, right? It creates dialogue with everybody. HBO does the same thing every week, right? So Netflix wants people to sub when every episode is out. Sounds odd. That's kind of how I handle Hulu right now. With Hulu, it's like, well, let's wait till we get a couple shows saved up, and then we'll then we'll pay for it and they'll binge it all. And that's just how it works for us. Um, what makes sense to me is maintaining the weekly model, which sucks. I understand some of you guys want to binge it and everything, but whenever you talk about like like social discourse with stuff, remember when. Uh, uh, in, in Mandalorian. Mandalorian was probably one of the most talked about shows uh, outside of that show we don't talk about um, with the Thrones. Uh, <clears throat> how is there every recent Netflix news piece about them pissing off customers? Because they they need money. Uh, Disney figured out the new show cadence and keep people to keep people subbed. Exactly. Even if the shows suck. You know, like, like Obi-Wan was not that great. Right? Like She-Hulk, not that great. But we're still subbed. <laughs> But we're still subbed. <laughs> Good luck with spoilers if you wait so long. Yeah, and so that's the other thing too. Is like you know they they're trying to get people to not just watch the shows, but also talk about them in real time, sharing things, and then like making, creating discourse and memes and all that stuff. And you know, if Stranger Things was episodical, I feel like it would have a fuck ton more hype. It's a big ass show. It's a big ass show. But if it was from the get go, just like one episode every week or whatever, uh, I feel like that would that would have made a huge difference in how we talk about it. Um, not gonna lie, I like the weekly release. If there was all the episodes out at once, it feels daunting. It does feel daunting, right? Because once it's out, then it's like, oh fuck, I gotta watch the whole thing right now. Uh, Don Donis of Wanis, these in terms of like people that I know that like to binge shows, like the second they come out, that guy is the king. <laughs> new show releases on a on a on a saturday night or something like that motherfuckers up all night watching all the shows next day yeah be, i already watched it. i can't talk about it though i can't talk about it because no one's watched it yet <laughs> sending the high seas because more attractive each time uh weekly stuff is dead please let it rest this isn't the era of cable dude they are slowly inching us back into the era of cable slowly they entice us with all this on-demand stuff it's like oh yeah man you can watch anything you want, whenever you want, all this stuff, right? And now they're going to be like, oh, episodical, oh, some ads, oh, some of this. And then then it's going to be like, oh, now you have like 15 different apps that you're paying for for different streaming services and all that shit. They're trying to turn it into into cable, just like deconstructed. <laughs> like, here's a, here's a, I've, I've made a deconstructed plate of, of cable service channels here. You could just pay for them all individually, but you kind of have to pay for all of them if you want to watch all your shows. <clears throat> I usually stop watching the show if there's not more out. I might binge it if it's all out in one or two, like I did with Ozarks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Ozarks. Yeah, I, I think it was the last season on that one. Uh, this was inevitable. I mean, 
kind of yeah like people they're they're fighting for screen time they're fighting for attention uh they're trying to fight for like social presence uh meanwhile media consumption is like breaking down to like one minute you know like we try to watch we try to watch pinocchio yesterday which was trash oh my god it was so bad uh it was i mean visually amazing but oh my god it was so fucking ham-fisted um and, you know, we couldn't make it through the whole episode. Declan obviously was like, oh, I'm done. But all of us were like, cool, we're done too. Because <laughs> Declan wanted to watch it. Uh, and I, I think that's part of the problem. Is like we're so used to, like, watching TikToks and watching all this stuff that a show that is not, like, just one action scene after another is hard to follow. We don't have the attention spans anymore. I was at the YouTube and Twitch. Thanks, y'all. Keep your old media rubbish. I know. I'm, I'm with you on that one. Netflix doing this is the result of other media companies wanting in on the recurring monthly revenue. But when is it something new that makes sense to drop the full season so people don't drop it halfway through? Then from S2 Plus, they can release on a weekly basis because people are committed. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> media got to be like every Mr. Beast video. They want those numbers. Oh, yeah. Good to know Pioke is not worth it. Yeah, man. It was just... I mean, amazing visuals, man. Like, the characters look so fucking real. Um... Like, yeah, they definitely put a lot of money into that. But the, but the writing and the screenplay portion of it, it feels like a stage show that was, like, directly translated over into a movie. And typically they do it for, like, art films and stuff like that. Like, there was a movie with Samuel Jackson Jackson and, uh, um, uh, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of the other guy. Um... K from uh, Men in Black. You just fucking space the name right now. But anyways, it was it was a stage it was a stage uh, uh, um, a play that was translated into a film, and it was a simple setup where they're just in one room and they're just talking basically. But it was intriguing. Tommy Lee Jones, thank you. Uh, it was an intriguing you know uh, uh, um, movie. Uh, this Pinocchio kind of does the same thing, but it's just not that intriguing. Like it's just like everything's kind of like force fed to you, ham. Like oh, I want a real boy and blah blah blah. And it's just like yeah, we get it, dude. You want a real boy? We get it. <laughs> There's just not, nothing is left. Nothing is left to the imagination. They just kind of spoon feed you every element. Anyways, anyways, anyways. So that's a, that's that movie. Um, <clears throat> here's a small note. Here it's kind of getting some traction here in the uh, in our Discord community. Um, there is uh, there's a game there's a game called Wolfenstein Enemy Territory uh, that is making a comeback uh, multiplayer. Uh, Bethesda is launching dedicated servers for <laughs> Wolfenstein Enemy Territory uh, that will allow people to play and experience the multiplayer side um of the game there's like a campaign mode multiplayer and i think it's like regular old like maybe uh deathmatch style stuff or whatever uh i can't remember if i played wolfenstein enemy territory or if i played uh return to castle wolfenstein i can't remember i think it was enemy territory um that was like a way back in the day though three of us yeah so three of you guys are playing last night probably shrimp you and uh and, and jordan right we do have a thread. We do have a thread in our Discord under the Bro Games General category. So if you're looking to play this, you can. Um, you can play with us. You can play with these guys. I, I don't want to play too much, but you know, we'll see. Um, anyways, yeah, I mean, kind of a cool thing. You know, they have four official servers deployed, one official server per region. Uh, and and yes, yeah, this is 16 players. There's no Punk Buster, but from what I understand, Punk Buster is dated and actually just uses resources, so it's not really necessary. Um, uh, they're getting ready to announce new Wolfenstein. So that's where everybody thought this was going to be. Everyone was like, why are you announcing this and not Wolfenstein 3? <laughs> or whatever they're going to call it. Wolfenstein New Edition 2023. Whatever. I have no idea. Um, <clears throat> I haven't played the last couple of Wolfensteins. They're very heavily story driven. Uh, I kind of fell off that train. The Wolfenstein train a while ago. Probably with Enemy Territory, actually. I just can't remember the damn game. Uh, reviews on Steam are nasty. For what? For uh, For Wolfenstein... Wait, for Wolfenstein uh, Enemy Territory? Really? Let me see. Uh, let me see. Two was abysmal. Let me see. Do so remember what a headache Punk Buster updates were? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Mixed reviews. Huh. I wonder why. Let me see. Mixed reviews. It says... No ultra wide support. Okay, that's kind of a okay. It's kind of your problem. Let this live in your childhood memories. I tried it. The new, find the new dedicated service impossible. I tried to find servers that didn't mod or run original maps impossible. This means you have to sit through one billion downloads. Oh, <clears throat> I, I try to run 
a resolution that was a complete ass impossible. In short, this is why this is all just complete ass, and I can't fathom why Bethesda at least tried the bare minimum to make this playable if they're going to launch new servers. Um, at least make them findable, at least. Well, you guys were able to find these last night. There's a team that takes care of enemy territory better than the Team Steam version, it seems. Yes, yes, that is something that, um, that, yeah, that you I saw you guys were talking about. That there is another uh, collection of people that maintain these things better than these guys do, which is fine, which is good. But I thought it was kind of neat that they were, um, oh, they use enemy territory legacy, not this version. That makes sense, too. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, I thought it was kind of neat. They were going to go ahead and try to, uh, and try to, you know, resurrect. That's like uh, if Epic decided to go and throw up some official servers or something like that, which they already have, actually, I think, for like the old Unreal tournament games. So maybe it's kind of a bad example. Um, anyways, speaking of bad examples no speaking of next stories we'll sign new order was a good really good single player campaign that one i have not played and yeah i heard a really good single player campaign um so here in california we have this we have we have we have uh you know we have a bunch of unique laws it's not stupid <laughs> but there's one there's one that's designed to to, to uh uh to um or a, a set of laws that are designed to protect your privacy. And one of them is uh, if you ever called someplace and they say, this call is going to be recorded for quality assurance and other purposes, right? Research purposes or whatever. Um, usually they almost always, they say that because they have to, they don't say that to be nice or anything like that. Right. They don't say that'd be nice. Uh, they say it because they have to, well, GameStop, GameStop apparently has not been doing that with their online chat service. So if you use their online chat service for any kind of support or whatever, you could be sharing that information with a little company called Zendesk. And if you're not sure what Zendesk is, this is so stupid. It's just a, it's a customer service portal that helps, that helps companies basically provide customer support to their to their people <laughs> so yeah it's a ticket system yeah 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 you use zen yeah boots uses zendesk jen uses zendesk fucking everyone uses zendesk right <laughs> so so why does GameStop have a support line well their website does if you go to if you go to gamestop.com they have a they have a chat support it's just a it's a typical bot type setup where you can uh Answer, it's, you ask, ask some questions. I'm looking for a game and they'll try to help you. So not Salesforce. Yeah, basically, I mean, in a, in a sense, Salesforce. Um, Salesforce, I think, is a little more robust, but Zendesk is uh, probably pretty damn close, if not uh, maybe feature matched or trying to feature match, but um, off-brand Salesforce, but still massive, but still massive. Anyway, so this, this to me looks a whole lot like uh, some lawyer saw that they did not put the some of these things may be recorded, right? They didn't put the little warning in and they were familiar with California law and they saw an opportunity to file a lawsuit. And so they did. So it says here, filed a California new class action lawsuit alleges that GameStop has been recording customer service conversation without consent and selling conversations to a third party. So because they use Zendesk, the assumption here that this lawyer is trying to make is that Zendesk is the third party that is scraping this data and using it for their purposes even though zendesk's own privacy policy says they they do not do that they don't scrape this data they don't do anything they don't sell data none of that stuff but this lawyer thinks he's still going to get in there and dunk on these fools so we'll see what happens i guess but <laughs> it just seemed really like really stupid it's like okay they it's gamestop's fault for being dumb for being dumb and not putting that thing up that you're supposed to in every state i guess uh selling to zendek is, is a is a bit of a stretch yeah a bit of a stretch seems really silly <laughs> like zendesk gives a fuck about gamestop when they host some of the biggest companies in the world i don't give a fuck about what game you're waiting to pre-order <sighs> but you know the court system and technology oh yeah somebody will get in there and somehow twist it twist it Twist it to make it seem like it's a uh, like it's such a bad thing. Could have get away with it. Yeah. So, <clears throat> class of reward of twenty five cents towards NFTs. So, last bit of news. This is this is also stupid. This is dumb. Listen, if you say something on the internet, sometimes you just have to own it. Okay, you just have to own it. All right. You type something out and you put it up on the interwebs. That's you saying that. 
So you, it's your responsibility to own it. Okay? So, if you fucking misspell something, just own it. Or delete it. Or double check next time. But no. They're testing an edit button for Twitter. But that's all they've said about it since September 1st. <laughs> that's all they said about it. Prove it was me. Yeah. So they said, they say here, if you see an edited tweet, it's because we're testing the edit button. This is happening. You'll be okay. And that's all we have. So some folks, and I fan, it makes me cringe so hard. Whatever someone's like, oh, but, oh, I well, I meant this, but you know, no, no edit button. I'm just like, well, maybe you should have fucking proofread it before you put it up, or just fucking own it. I got some misspellings. My, I know how to spell. I sometimes fuck up things when I tweet. I read that shit over and over again, but somehow I still miss. I say in instead of on. I don't know how I do that. It just happens. But guess whose fault that is? Me, not Twitter's fault. Bunch of babies, man. So was that tweet edited? If not, it seems like a shitty feature. <laughs> so anyways, that's coming soon. To those of you guys who need to have handheld when tweeting or some shit. But now I'm just going to carry even less. I'm just going to write some random shit. And then I have to go back and edit it again. I'll be like, oh, fuck. I fucked all this shit up. <laughs> I just want to <laughs> tell you what is a great couple of coffee. Spelling is overrated. I've met some dumbest people that can spell good. Spelling does not prove that you're smart. Or even know what you're talking about. That's right. I'm a terrible speller. Very smart though. <laughs> Autocorrect will wreck a tweet every time. Every time. Like duck. Uh, <laughs> the edit button is going to have cause a lot of issues. Like a tweet could really backfire because it's being edited after you already liked it and tweet tweeted it. So that's that's something that Twitter's gonna have to handle. That's my biggest my biggest reason why I don't feel like they should have edit button. Right? Is because one, well. Two. One, because you should just pay attention to yourself and I've wasted resources for an edit button, but whatever. Uh, and, and two, because like, yeah, you could change it, but maybe they're going to put something in that says it was changed and then what is like, maybe it resets the likes or something or whatever. I don't know what they'll do. Um, I always know what I'm talking about. And I can't spell where the shit uh, guns. Oh, about that one. <laughs> Grammar Nazis are dumb. How do you think Latin turned into English, French, Spanish right to center up. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, wow. Wow. I didn't think about that. That's true. How do you think Latin turn all these dumb languages? You remove duck from your phone's dictionary? I have to do that too. That one and wheel. Like I'm always like, I always type in, I always say well, well, comma, blah, blah, blah. And it's always like W-E apostrophe L-L. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, no. I don't know a single engineer that can spell for a damn. See, I think they should just perma ban anyone who uses the edit function. Yeah, that's right. Fucking show show these nerds proofread your shit. That's it for the news. That's it for the news. Thank you so much. Woo to you. Fuck to you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Chat, you guys have been lovely. You guys are amazing. It's been a great, great, great news. Um. Andrews is just a student that didn't like English class. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you guys can hang out for a second, though. I'll be back in just a minute. Thank you again for watching. That was great news. That was a good news. Yeah, yeah. Have a good one, YouTube. Say goodbye to YouTube, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you again. I'm going to see you guys. Chat in a minute. The rest of you guys later. Okay? 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 We're going to wait for the queue. And, 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 mm.